For the American consumer, the push toward electric vehicles might just have become a lot easier, thanks in part to a bipartisan infrastructure package from the Biden administration that includes provisions for expanding America's EV infrastructure. At the same time, that a new battery cell manufacturing plant is nearing completion in Lordstown, Ohio. Ultium Cells, a new joint venture between GM and LG Energy Solutions, has designed an entirely new EV battery platform with the power to make any vehicle an electric vehicle. How it works is a battery cell goes into a battery module, a battery module goes into a battery pack, and multiple battery packs go into an EV. Traditional lithium-ion batteries typically are made of a mixture of nickel, manganese, and cobalt. Ultium Cell's recipe reduces its reliance on cobalt by more than 70% by adding aluminum. And they're positioned underneath the vehicle, in the undercarriage of the vehicle. Depending on the type of vehicle and the clearance, uh, they could either be horizontally stacked or vertically stacked, depending on you know, if it's a Hummer or if it's a lower clearance vehicle. Walking through this manufacturing space with its more than 3 million square feet of space is a bit difficult to describe the sheer size of it. We try to do all kind of cutesy things with the models, uh, how many football fields fit on the top of the building, which I think is 32 right now. Um, but we talk about this thing in miles of conduit, tens of thousands of tons of steel and acres of roof. And just as vehicles will be run off electricity, to make the batteries, this facility runs off electricity too. This is a high volume, massive power consumption project. I don't want to understate the amount of work that's inside this building, specifically electrically and mechanically. Normally on a job of a million square foot for a body shop, you may have six to eight air houses. Here you have, I believe, close to 70 air handler units, specialty desiccant units. Depending on the product they're making, they have to specify each one of those rooms down to a certain level of relative humidity and cleanliness. And we have 35%, we have 10%, and we have 1%. If someone told me a couple months back that in order to get a room down to 1% relative humidity, it's kind of like trying to keep the ocean out of one of your construction trailers. Power is distributed in over uh, segregated phase bus work into the switch house, into a cable bus system, on into the 15 kV switch gear. From there, it's distributed downward into the duct bank system underground and distributed out to all the, the whole campus. There was a lot of detail spent down there, and you can tell by the you know the amount of just fire taping that we had to do down there. I mean, it took took a lot of time, and the, the guys on the crew did a really good job paying attention to all the details and getting everything to look good. And then on into the unit substations inside the building. We've got a total of 55 unit substations distributed throughout the, the project for power distribution. Generally, automotive projects, you'll see five or six. So it has got the magnitude of 10 times. So what we got in the manhole is got some splicing going on. It feeds parallel feeds coming from the substation outside. It feeds down through this manhole and then goes up through these six inch pipes and feeds the substation upstairs. From these large expansions to these tiny confined space manholes, electrically speaking, the NECA IBEW team is tasked with ensuring a professionally safe and professionally delivered installation. So one of the very unique things about the building, besides the, the complexity and the scale, is the, the delivery method. It's a formal IFOA, Integrated Form of Agreement, or IPD, Integrated Project Delivery. And Hunt Lighthouse has really been a world-class IFOA partner from day one. It seems to be a uh, more popular contract structure of late. It's very interesting because typically we don't get to see everything that goes in on the front end. It's a lot more heavily involved than a typical design-build project. It's going to be the next wave of, of construction for our industry, right? Battery plants. I mean, that's the way everything's moving towards renewable energy. 
The electrical vehicle market is moving in that direction. I, I think it's very important, not only with the manufacturing, but also with charging stations, the grid that feeds the charging stations as well as these plants. It's all important. There's a lot of IBEW work involved. But yeah, I can't say enough about Hunt and Lighthouse and NECA. They've, they've all been great to work with. NECA contractors have to roll with the punches. You know, you get economic conditions, you get weather issues. Whatever comes across is something that we're prepared to deal with. We've been dealing with for centuries, some of these contractors. And we do, we do whatever we need to do. We work with the IBW as closely as we can to get the job done and get it done quickly and on budget and done well. With more than 30 new electric cars for sale by 2025, GM, LG Energy Solutions, and Ultium Cells are well on their way to an all-electric future. And that's just fine with NECA and the IBEW. From Lordstown, Ohio, for Electric TV, I'm Dominic Giratano.